Okay, so I'm going to show you how I tune the arrows. I right, firstly, I have to look at where the knock, the, uh, you got this little ridge right here that lines up with the off collar arrow, head, or rather Fletchy. So this little ridge right here, you should be able to see that little bump right there. It is lined up with the green fletching, the two white ones. So when you are shooting thumb ring, it's going to be on this side. What you want in consistency of all these arrows is that the arrowhead itself lines up to either, I have it set for the 3 o'clock, 9 o'clock position. So if I shoot the arrow, it's going to be just like that coming off the uh, limb. So I get a similar whist rate so long as there's no heavy wind or stiff breezes coming right or left or directly into the arrow. Uh, a still day it helps you to understand this better if, it's, if there's no wind. So when I'm shooting it like this and it'll be set on the arrow like that or yeah, on the string, I'll have it on the limb and it'll be right there coming off either side. It'll, it'll be at the 3 o'clock, 9 o'clock position, or you can put it at the 6 o'clock, 12 o'clock position, straight up and down. But if I have it like this, I know I'm going to get a similar twist rate if each arrow is tuned like that. And how you do that is you got the little rubber gasket in here to help lock the arrowhead to the shaft so it doesn't rattle or move around. I was shooting today and I had one of the uh, rubbery thingies. I don't know what happened to it. It broke off. It, it uh, The shaft swallowed it. I, I couldn't tell you what happened. Uh, I, for, I don't know. So um, one of the arrows was really rattling. So I didn't take any extra with me. So I just stopped firing that arrow altogether. So <clears throat> and substitute for another one. I destroyed two arrows today three arrows today so i don't have as many as i did have but um i'll order some more like that so it'll be fine but anyway um when you're shooting you want consistency and that's exactly the way it should be so that helps me but you have to have that little rubber gasket in there to help tighten it down so that way it, it tunes to How you're shooting and that's pretty much how that goes so i'm going to make a longer video for the patreon on this and i'm going to do a bunch of arrows but those these work only really for the two bladed versions the three bladed versions there's really no real way to do that um, they are pretty much asymmetrical anyway when they come off of the limb in in their flight trajectory so if uh, the two bladed ones, if you have different variations on the clock, if you will. So uh, I'm, I'm shooting a three to nine and it's consistent like that. I should have consistent accuracy at longer ranges. So 30, 40 yards, definitely. <clears throat> and the, the broadheads are for hunting. They're not for target practice. Although I'm going to be using these for penetration on ballistics, gel dummies, um, or uh, other such targets that are in, in I'm in the process of uh, acquiring those. So once we get uh, everything set up, then we'll start filming that. But these are really for hunting. Um, I also have a uh, a varmint call to wear uh, a varmint call. Someone who has uh, lost a, uh, a family pet to uh, what they think are coyotes. Uh, I'm going to have to go out and see if I can figure that one out, track, and uh, go from there and see and make an assessment on how I'm going to proceed on that. And I'll film that for my Patreon. So you get a GoPro camera for that bow. <clears throat> so this is what we got. Tuning these to where they have a good consistency. 
and making sure you have a good brand of arrow. You just can't do this with any arrow. These mossy oak arrows are really, really good. So um, these are a 350, a 350 spine. So 55 to 70, you can, and you can use them with lesser bows. Um, the, uh, I'll get to that in the next video of the heavier arrows that I have. They do not impact the same as the lighter target arrows. So I'm taking those and I'm putting broadheads on those. I won't be using those for target practice anymore because they don't even make it to the target if I'm using the same hole. All right. So, um, yeah, that was not fun. However, the fact. Um, more on Patreon. I'll get to that and we'll get you guys squared away. All right. So we'll see you on the next one.